Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome to day 408 on my journey to 2000 and to 2000. That uh, doesn't come off the tongue as easy as I thought it would. Today is a day that I could get back over 1500. In this series, I play a game of chess every day, I put it on YouTube for folks to watch, and I track my progress on chess.com. Let's see who I'm playing today. Ah, uh, yes. Noel, 83. K. Noel, 83. Got the Cairo Khan defense with an interesting little uh, knight e2 move. But also following through on what potentially might look like the uh, advance variation. Go ahead and retreat back here. They keep advancing. It sounds, it's, it has a very trappy uh, vibe to it here. Very trappy. There must have been some kind of crazy trap on that on that line that I avoided. Just the first time I've seen that uh, that opening here. So now I've got a mate threat. So far, I've got much better development than my opponent. Noel 83 is out of Haiti. Rated 1527. This. Yeah, I want to take. Uh, let's see. This, if this, then I take, take, and then the castle. But then they've got this. So if I take now, then they take, and then I go here. I think we'd actually be okay. messed up my pawns with this opening. This actually forces that. Oh, 
project thing is ultimately just good. Actually, they don't have to. They don't have to move it. Okay, right there. I'm the castle. Castle, protect my king. I gotta be careful of something like that. But I think for now, moving it back should be okay. This. Get my king out of this. Oh, shoot. Okay. I'm definitely trading here. And then I can come back.
fascinating. three minutes. is a good move to prevent this pawn from moving because I can attack this pawn if I do.
creates a lot of moves, but I think that it's actually pretty good. Because then I could come in here. Threatening mate. And if they take, then take, then take, then I've got a mate. Because of the rook. So maybe this C7 square is where my queen belongs. My opponent taking a bit of time here on, on move 16 or 17. To me, it seems pretty straightforward that this is... Come back. Come back. Come back. That's what we call a little ditty. If anybody, if anybody can guess that riff, I will, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. I'll, I, I will say that's very impressive if you can guess that song just on what I played. Um, okay, so let's check out the analysis. I got lucky with today's game. Uh, my opponent uh, ran out of time. Probably poor connection there in uh, in Haiti. Um, but I played with eighty five percent accuracy today. No blunders, no misses, just one mistake. So pretty good. My opponent also played well. So shout out Noel eighty three. Looks like very even game up until a couple of big plays here that uh, eventually shifted the scales in my favor. So let's see how we did here. The Carol Khan opening with this funky uh, funky line with a push. Um, and I did okay. I, I was able to salvage it with, if anybody knows of any weird traps with this line, please put them in the comments because I don't want to be unprepared next time I see it. So far, so good. Um, yeah, it's a good move. They like pushing in the center earlier, which I agree. But I wanted—I didn't know this line, so I wanted to protect my my king. Uh, attacking the queen uh, it was a good move. Okay, so the game's dead even here, until this uh, until this mistake, which gave them a one point five advantage. Um, the engine 
liked the pawn to e5 move better, which hindsight being what it is, makes a lot of sense. I was so tunnel visioned on, on this knight that I'm like, okay, there has to be something that can be done over here. But there wasn't really anything that needed to be done. This knight wasn't gonna go anywhere because of this knight. Couldn't go here, couldn't go here. I knew it was kind of trapped, so I guess I could have pushed here. What would have happened if I would have pushed? Let's... It gave white a little bit of an advantage. Because after c5 and takes, then they go here and fork. And while I didn't see that pan out, um, I think I got lucky because I'd go a4 here. They'd take my knight and exchange queens. I wouldn't go a4 there. That's just what the engine says. I'd want to save. Uh, maybe I would go because if they took, then I'd get my knight out of danger. Yeah, I probably, I, I probably would have. And if they took, and they recapture, then I probably would push here at e5 and have this attack on the pawn. So, I mean, this king's super exposed relative to theirs, but I think the game is, is even at that point. So, Instead, I go knight to b6, attacking the knight, and then this blunder let me take and get a free piece. So the advantage shifted dramatically after they made that blunder. Um, queen e2, knight back is a good move. I think that was a really good move they made, bringing their, their queen down to e6. That caused me a little little bit of anxiety there, and I think that was well thought out. So who knows what would have happened. Um, unfortunately, the game ran out of time, so we never know. But as of move 16, when the game ended, I, uh, I did have a 2.4 advantage on the eval bar. So there you have it, folks. I'm back over 1,500. Uh, yeah. Thanks for the support. See you around.